In my previous videos, I have shown you how to design an encoder circuit. Here I will show you how to design an octal to binary encoder. As you have already known that in octal system, there are eight distinct digits 0 to 7 and its radix or base is 8. The highest digit in this system is 7 and its binary representation is 111. So if you convert 7 to its binary form, you will get 111. So all the numbers less than 7 are represented in 3 bits. So 0 is represented as 0, 0, 0, 1 is represented as 0, 0, 1 and so on. Now if I ask you to convert an octal number say 26 in binary form. So what you will do? You have to convert each and every digit of the octal number to its binary form individually. So 2 is written as 0, 1, 0. Look at the table 2 is represented as 0, 1, 0. Similarly, 6 will be written as 110. You can check it with the table 6 is represented as 110. So convert each and every digit of the octal system to its binary form. And now you will get the binary of 26. That's mean you are converting from one form to another. That's mean I am encoding 26 to binary form. This process is known as encoding. That's mean we have to design an encoder circuit where an octal system is converted to its binary form. Now we have to design an encoder circuit which will convert an octal number to its binary form. So suppose this is my octal to binary encoder. So this is the encoder circuit which will convert an octal number to its binary form. Since octal system has 8 inputs, so the encoder must also have 8 inputs from I0 to I7 and it has 3 output B0, B1 and B2. Now before implementing logic diagram you have to derive an expression for the outputs and since there are 3 outputs B0, B1, B2 let's derive expression for B0, B1, B2 separately and then we will draw the logic diagram. As we have already know for an encoder circuit, when any one of the input becomes high, the rest of the inputs will be in the low state. And for that high input, you will get a binary combination in the output. First, let's start with B2 output. Now look at the B2 output. For the first four cases, the outputs are low. And for the last four cases, the outputs are high. So when the inputs are 4, 5, 6 and 7, B2 are becoming high. So you can write like this, B2 equal to I4 or I5, I6 or I7. That's mean when any one of the input I4, I5, I6 or I7 becomes high, B2 will become high. Similarly, for the B1 output, Look at the yellow boxes. When input is 2, 3, 6 and 7, for these four inputs, B1 becomes 1. So I have written I2, I3, I6 or I7. Look, I2 or I3 or I6 or I7. So any one of the four inputs, I2, I3, I6 and I7 becomes high, B1 will become high. And for the last case, B0. And for the last case, B0, when the input 1, 3, 5 and 7, B0 becomes high. That means for odd number of inputs, B0 are becoming high. So any one of the input I1, I3, I5 or I7, if any one of the inputs become high, B0 will become high. So this is my three Boolean expression from the truth table. Now, these three are my Boolean expression. Using this three Boolean expression, now we are going to draw the logic diagram. So, what you have to do? Do you have to consider all the input variables which are present at the right hand side of the assignment operator for three expression? So, there are I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I7 lines. So, draw the line first. 
so I have drawn I0 to I7 from right hand side to left hand side and now for the first expression B2 when I4 or I5 or I6 or I7 are high then B2 will become high so what you have to do you have to draw the connection from I4, I5, I6 and I7 so draw like this so you have to draw a connection from I4, I5, I6 and I7 and do a OR operation in between them and you will get the B2 for the next expression what you have to do you have to draw connection from i2 i3 i6 and i7 so it will just look like this and for b0 i3 i5 i6 i7 so draw connection from all odd inputs look i1 i3 i5 and i7 and now you will get the b0 so this is the logic diagram of octal to binary encoder now check it with the truth table whether it is correct or not uh, suppose let's take 3 for example that's mean when input 3 i3 is high so when i3 is high so check there is a connection and here is an another connection so there are two connections from this i3 line so this connection is connected to the b1 or get and this connection connected with the lowermost or get that is b0 so that's mean when a high input is given to the i3 line b1 and b0 will become high and b2 will remain in the zero state so what you will get 0 1 1 look you will get 0 1 1 so this is the binary conversion of the octal 3 so you can check with any inputs and you will get the corresponding binary outputs in the b2 b1 b0 or get so this two table can also be represented like this since octal to binary encoder has eight inputs you can uh, write the inputs like this i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and i7 and in our encoder circuits when any one of the inputs become high the rest of the inputs will be in a low state so check when i0 is one the rest of the inputs are low at that point of time you will get 0 0 0 in the output when i1 is one and the rest of the inputs are low the output will be 0, 0, 001 so look all the diagonals are becoming one that's mean when i7 is one the rest of the inputs are zero you will get one 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 so you can also write the truth table like this also subscribe to my channel online technical mentor and press the bell icon for latest update